Corn incisions can be added to the treatment via the incision planning screen. Most parameters will be pre-programmed for individual surgeons to minimize setup time. Surgical incisions can be of single plane, dimple up, or three plane geometry, with incision dimensions pre-programmable to reflect individual preferences and surgical technique. LRIs can be added with preset percentage depth of cut and the inclusion of alignment marks to allow for any cyclo rotation when the patient lies horizontally. The planning screen shows the capsulotomy, fragmentation and surgical incisions. The circular markers can be aligned to the conjunctival marks that will then automatically offset the axis of the incisions to allow for cyclo rotation. LRI information can be added to include arc length and the axis of the incisions. After the details of the first LRI are added, calling up the second LRI automatically offsets the axis by 180 degrees. The surgical incisions can be moved to avoid the LRIs and can be moved to ensure they are as far out towards the limbus as the image cornea allows. When the diameter of the LRIs is manually changed, the dimensions of the incisions are automatically adjusted to maintain a constant arc length. Once all the incisions are planned, the 3D screen allows one final review before the treatment is loaded ready for surgery. As you watch the progression of the treatment, you can follow the capsulotomy being cut first, followed by phacofragmentation. The progress of the photo disruption can be seen from the formation of small gas bubbles. Once the interocular treatment is complete, Corlean incisions are commenced. The main CCI is cut first, followed by the side port or paracentesis incision. In all cases, photo disruption starts inferiorly and moves anteriorly to avoid the gas bubbles disrupting the beam. The final incisions are the LRIs, which are not full thickness cuts. Due to the fine cuts created by the laser, all incisions are complete but not patent until opened with a blunt surgical instrument. Laboratory studies have shown that the globe remains closed and at physiological pressure until such intervention. The architecture of the incisions can be seen using OCT. In this first image, a three-plane incision has been cut in the cornea. In the second, a limbal relaxing incision cut to a 90% depth is shown. 